you've been in the fashion industry a long time, and I you have. you were an assistant. <laughs> I was at Vogue. Yes. Yes. Oh, you know what? Even before I get to that. Just to keep on this other issue, yeah. you had, you may not know this to look at her, but you, you've had real issues with weight oh, yes. and fluctuation and the whole thing. Oh, yes, but this is also why I feel so strongly about talking about it and because sort of you understanding. Were yeah. yeah, I, um, you know, I, I think growing up I was probably always about 15 pounds overweight, mm -hmm. but, but it was because I got to eat ice cream every day, box of cookies, and 15 pounds overweight for that kind of food. I was like, <laughs> I'm <laughs> fine with this, that. Yeah. My metabolism must be so fast. Um, and then, you know, I realized I wanted to go into fashion and I was afraid that I wouldn't meet the standard. And um, I said I was going to lose 10 pounds my senior year of college and I lost 55, 60. I was 89 pounds. I'm 5'7". And um, why did you not stop at the 10 pounds? What well, happened? Something's going on in your head. Something goes on in your head. Yeah. And that is the thing about eating disorders. It is not solely under your control. The really, really bad ones, I mean, they take hold and it is the blackest place you'll, you want to go. You can't see yourself. Your eyes and your brain don't work anymore. Right. And, and then I, I actually got a job at Vogue and uh, I wound up gaining back all the weight and doubled my weight in a year. So I was 180 pounds. Wow. And working at Vogue. So what did I do being a size 16, working in a size zero industry? I worked. Were my you ostracized at Vogue when you started to gain that weight? Not no. at all. Not at all. Thank God, uh, grunge came in just around that time. <laughs> so I kind of lucked out. Yeah, I yeah. wore really big skirts and flannel shirts, and I fit right in. <laughs> um, but I worked really hard, you know. And I, I tried to make myself invaluable. I tried to be the class clown. I did all of the things that I thought would sort of distract from my weight. And it took me about seven years to really normalize mm. and get healthy and eat right and sort of get that out of my system. But I do understand both sides of the equation. I understand why designers want skinny models, mm -hmm. because really, they want you to look at the clothes, not the person in the clothes. That's the They're, industry. They refer to the model very often as the A wire hanger. hanger. Yeah, exactly. exactly. But that's, that's the industry, and they also want to sell you on the idea that you're not good enough. It's an industry built on insecurity, and we can change that by taking back a little bit of the autonomy and saying, this is what works for me for my body, for my shape, for my age, for my style. It doesn't always have to be one yeah, thing. From your mouth to their ears. That's Amen. what I did. You know, from your mouth to their ears.